Hello, this is Jam Master Daniel 96 and in today's video, I'm going to be going over a leak from The Rise of Skywalker, and it is that Mark Hamill and Carrie Russell have filmed a scene together according to some reports. I mean, this is possible, and let's begin. Well, as I said, that this could be a possible thing. I mean, I talked about this on a video I did last week of, you know, all these leaks from The Rise of Skywalker that MakingStarWars.net has reported that I speculated on who Zori Bliss could be in my latest podcast episode, which you can check that out, which I'll link that down below. And so pretty much I'm going to speculate from this article from the inverse does some pretty interesting points and like in, I mean also you can I won't like read the article word for word but I'll go over some things as I look for it for this video and one thing like what the inverse talks about like the inverse thinks that like you know like in this article they think like maybe that Zoe Bliss could be like Luke's daughter or something, which I speculated that she that Zoe Bliss could be a wife of Luke Skywalker, like she's a new version of Mara Jade. But in the article they're saying about, you know, possibly like you know, like Zoe being a like a secret daughter of Luke, like a secret force sensitive daughter of Luke Skywalker. And then he, you know, the article does, you know, kind of says that the actor's ages could support the theory because Mark Hamill is 67 and Carrie Russell is 43. So, I mean, it could make sense with that, with the age difference with, with that, like how there's a, you know, like their age difference, like how Mark Hamill is in his 60s and Carrie Russell is in her 40s. So, I mean, that could match up. Like, you know, Luke probably had a daughter, you know, like shortly after Return of the Jedi. I mean, which we don't have much on what Luke did in the 30 years. I mean, it's still left unopened. And, I mean, there's a lot of stuff they could fill in. And then he, also, the you know, the article does point out that Zori even kind of looks like Mara just you know, like, with a big helmet covering her face, and then pretty much we don't have anything yet on what Zori, but, uh, what Zori Bliss looks like without the helmet on. I mean, maybe we'll know in the movie what she looks like. You know, she'll obviously look like Carrie Russell, but we don't know what our, how the, you know, like, we haven't, maybe, you know, we'll see her without the mask on in the movie, and then definitely, you know, the do point out like they're both wearing purple and stuff you know like that's another thing what the article is saying and then they go to another the article does go to another theory on what if Zori isn't a Jedi and then they do talk about the Church of the Force which you know pretty much we haven't known much about it ever since the Force Awakens you know that's kind of a thing they never touched upon, like, after The Force Awakens, but then they say, you know, with J.J. Abrams coming back for Episode Nine, it kind of would make sense that maybe J.J. Abrams will give us more on that with Laura Santaka and the Church of the Force, so maybe that's a thing that could happen in The Rise of Skywalker that J.J. Abrams could revisit. And it's also, you know, like that maybe Zori was part of the Church of the Force and then maybe didn't go on a Jedi path and if she's Force-sensitive and, you know, became a bounty hunter instead of a Jedi and we pretty much don't know, like, you know, if she is Force-sensitive or not and then maybe, you know, also, I mean, as I speculated, the connection she could have with Luke is probably, like, maybe she talks with Mark Hamill's Force Ghost, you know, with Luke's Force Ghost in the movie, and then, or maybe it'll be a flashback scene they have together or something that what these reports are saying about Mark Hamill filming a scene with Carrie Russell, and 
That's another thing. And then there's also another theory that Macon Stowers claims that Zori was responsible for bringing Rey to Jakku prior to the events of The Force Awakens. So Zori Bliss could be the one who left Rey on Jakku. And, you know, and it also is about the reasoning that maybe, like, that the article says protecting the young child from some evil plan by Palpatine. So maybe this is how, maybe like Palpatine returning in the Rise of Skywalker, in the Rise of Skywalker could also affect, you know, why Rey was left on Jakku, and that could be a reason. And maybe Palpatine is one of the reasonings there. So I mean, that I, I did discuss uh, how they could use Palpatine in the Rise of Skywalker, and then that's a discussion for another time. And then also, like, you know, saying that Palpatine's plot to kidnap or even kill a young Force-sensitive girl, and, you know, like, Zori was to, you know, to protect Rey to leave her on Jakku, and maybe that, and then it maybe, like, you know, the big reveal about it, about Ray's true origin story, and then maybe, you know, like, maybe, like, Zori Bliss and Luke's Force Ghost tell Ray the full story about it, and, and it definitely says that it wasn't filmed on Zori's frosty home planet of Kajimi, opens up, you know, it opens up the possibility that they could be on Jakku, in this movie, so maybe we'll see more of that flashback of Rey being left on Jakku in, you know, as we saw in The Force Awakens, so we'll probably see more of it. And, I mean, because I also do think it's possible that Zoe Bliss could be Rey's mom, I think, because I also did speculate this in my podcast episode, in my latest podcast episode, and... I mean, I'd say anything is possible, and I say maybe Zoe Bliss is one of the big reveals in The Rise of Skywalker, and that's pretty much all I gotta say with this video, and I will link the article down below, and also link my podcast down below and stuff, and also link my video on the episode 9 leaks I did last week, if you want to check that out, and... That's pretty much all I have to say with this video, and don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and comment what you think down below, and I'll catch you guys next time with another video. Bye.